I haven't looked at everyone else's schedule, but to get Washington, Stanford, UCLA all in a row, you know, what it's like to, what's it like to take them all on, uh, those top 10 teams on kind of in a row, and just what, what's your group going to get out of this stretch here? Yeah. I think every year we've had, like, those stretches of having them in a row, um, and it's just – Continuing to stay with our process and understand what we're trying to do. I, you know, I think we get caught up small and like each series, but also understand big as well. So I, um, I think of this last series, we got one, we could have gotten two. So it's like, we're right there. We just got to keep continuing to do with what we're doing. And I like how we're playing. I like how we're competing. It's just continue. Just to you follow said. up on that, there was, Ariel had this great quote, I thought, where she said, you know, we're so close. And we're tired of being so close. And yeah. it's like, I felt like both those sentiments, you probably, you might've appreciated that. Yeah. You appreciate that, you know, in a tough loss, you could take some positives, but also that's not what you're playing for too. Exactly. And I think that's good that she's saying that because, um, to me, it's like to get over that hump or to move forward. It's about one continue, like getting there, which we're getting there. It's just pushing through it. What are some of those takeaways from last weekend? Um, I think just for us, you know, I think of our last game, which was tough, is that we got five of our leadoffs on and we just weren't able to do what we needed to do with it. So what I would say just in general is just the opportunity. Like opportunity continues to show up for it. It's just taking it and running with it. And we are. And when we do, you see we're getting our W's. But then there's times where we could have got the W and we just didn't take advantage of our opportunities. I feel like that'd be the best way to describe it. Are there specific ways where you can better take advantage of those opportunities when you do get lead off runners on? Yeah, I think it's just continuing to put them in those situations, which is showing up in the games, but also in practice. You know, we come out and we practice and we get after it and we put them in situations that they're going to be in in the game. So now it, it's like, oh, I was just there. I feel that I understand what I need to do and have the ability to execute. Procedurally, basically, just talking about the scheduling, I was just curious, do you have no feedback mechanism to the Pac-12? Just in that I would imagine that having UCLA finals week was not at the top of your list of desires. Um, so <laughs> as they're formulating the schedule, do coaches, do they have input for things like this? Where, I mean, like, you can't accommodate everybody, but I'm just saying like, I just, yeah. just out of curiosity. I mean, we we're on the road last year for finals. It's just, to me, it is what it is. So it's just, I think a part of being a student athlete in the pack, you know, that's, I just think it is what it is. What are the little things that you guys have focused on, um, you know, these last couple of weeks to try to get, I mean, you guys are right on the precipice, like you said, to try to get over that, that uh, challenge. Yeah, I think just continuing to create momentum um, on offense or defense and, and give it back and forth to each other for uh, have opportunities and we have those opportunities to take advantage of them. You've got a team, you've got a lot of team speed and you've shown the ability to take extra bases in certain mm -hmm. situations, but there's also the been some outs on the bases. How are you feeling about your got your group right now where, yeah, when you get a leadoff runner on, there's a lot of ways you can try to, you know, move them over, get them in, just kind of where your group's at in terms of being able to, you know, be aggressive, but also not get yourself into trouble you know, at this point in the season? Yeah, I think we, you know, we pride ourselves in being able to run and to be aggressive on uh, during offense. And, you know, there's gonna be times where it goes our way and other times that it doesn't. But at times when it doesn't, I don't think we should go away from who we are. I think we need to continue to be who we are and just see maybe there's some things that we, you know, need to do a little bit better with it. But I think we have a very good idea of who we are. It's just, um, continuing to execute that. It's been two weeks now where you've been able to utilize replay. I'm curious on your perspective mm -hmm. on how to best utilize and how you want to utilize replay moving forward. Yeah, it's interesting. It's, it's, it's interesting. And I think every time we go into a series, we get a better idea of it and just get, um, you just get more opportunity with replay like you would anything else. So I just think I'm thankful that we have it now. I think of last year, we didn't have it and then we're going to postseason and trying to figure it out. So I'm glad we have it. For people who aren't super informed about, you know, the complex the complexities of like hitting, there have been some who think that you can just drop a bun anytime you want. Could you maybe articulate some of the challenges that the pitchers present in doing that? Um, well, I would just tell you in general, I think softball, any you know, like it's a very much it's hand eye coordination. So I think 
just in general, it's tough, but I, I think we've got great out athletes that can hit, can bunt, can do the little things that we want to do. Um, I just think there's going to be some times where we're going to do it well and we might have a little bit of a struggle, but it's when we have those struggles, can we go revamp it and be ready to go? Against Washington, it was a very offensive series. Against Stanford, it was a very defensive and pitching series. Can you speak on the ability of the team to play both plays? Yeah, I think we've got a great ability to do that. Um, and I think when you've seen us do that, we've played really, really well. Um, if you have all three cylinders rolling, we're, I think, winning a ton of games. You know, I think I would say that our athletes would say that. If we've got two, three going, we're, we're doing really well. We have, if we're just living off of one, it, we're going to have to work a little bit harder. So I think it's just understanding if we can have two of three, th you know, three of three, we're, we're golden. And there's just certain games where it's going to require certain things. You know, certain game might require um, a little bit of offense and a, a lot of defense. You know, I think it's just also to the game we're in and what what is required of us to win that ball game. To go back to last June, Missy, how did you learn of Brooks' decision to move on? You know, that right now you have the transfer portal people have opportunity to do what they want with it that that was something where she graduated here i'm thankful for her and getting her diploma here i'm thankful for what she's done here and i wish her all the best when when she publicly announced that she was intending to return though there is kind of a, a message that gets sent with a decision like that, whether it's real or not, or at least perception in terms of somebody chooses to move on, I just say, I wish them best. But she's basically saying that she, in doing, in making that decision after saying she was going to come back, that she was looking for something for potentially for the postseason or something to, you know, have a best opportunity for her in her final year. Do you take that personal? Again, I'm thankful for what she's done here. I love that she graduated from Oregon and I want nothing but the best for her. You feel like you have probably the best scouting report on her? Again, I'm appreciative of what she's done for Oregon. I love that she is a graduate of Oregon, and I wish nothing but the best for her. When they have, okay. Okay. Any other questions? Save for Brady and uh, for Amo on each side for them as well another go around and seeing them for the umpteenth time what is it that makes them respectively just the caliber of players that they are uh, for them? yeah they're great they've got great athletes over there they've got great athletes i'm excited for this series these guys have been working hard and i'm excited to have this series at home and i'm really looking forward to seeing what our team can do